Can you hear me? I am here today because I cannot be there with you today. But thank you for coming. Thank you for your resolve, your generosity of spirit. On Wednesday night, after a threat was sent to this embassy and police descended from this building, you came out in the middle of the night to watch over it. And you brought the world's eyes with you. Inside this embassy, after dark, I could hear teams of police swarming up into the building through its internal fire escape. But I knew there would be witnesses, and that is because of you. If the UK did not throw away the Vienna Conventions the other night, it is because the world was watching. And the world was watching because you were watching. So the next time somebody tells you that it is pointless to defend those rights that we hold dear, remind them of your vigil in the dark for the Embassy of Ecuador. Remind them how, in the morning, the sun came up on a different world and a courageous Latin American nation took a stand for justice. Freedom of expression and the health of 
all our societies. We must use this moment to articulate the choice that is before the government of the United States of America. Will it return to and reaffirm the values, the revolutionary values it was founded on? Or will it lurch off the, pre off the precipice, dragging us all into a dangerous and oppressive world in which journalists fall silent under the fear of prosecution and citizens must whisper in the dark. I say it must turn back. I ask President Obama to do the right thing. The United States must renounce its witch hunt against WikiLeaks. The United States must dissolve its FBI investigation. The United States must vow that it will not seek to prosecute our staff or our supporters. The United States must pledge before the world that it will not pursue journalists for shining, shining a light on the secret crimes of the powerful. There must be no more foolish talk about prosecuting any media organization, be it WikiLeaks or be it the New York Times. The US administration's war on whistleblowers must end. Thomas Drake, William Binney, John Karakou and other heroic whistleblowers must, they must, be pardoned or compensated for the hardships they have endured as servants of the public record. And to the Army private who remained in a military prison in Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, who was found by the United Nations months of torturous detention in Quantico, Virginia, and who was yet, after two years in prison, to see a trial, he must be released. Absolute unity and determination in the response. 